be. Did you get the coup concurrent? The, the purse? Did they just send it to me? I don't, I don't know. What can we do it? a coup concurrent? We sure can. I got one. I got a okay. great I, one. I got a great one that I'd love to hear you chime in. Okay, on. let's do this. But you go first. Uh, riding your surfboard straight into the rocks. Oh, yes, I did see that one. Boom. You got full on kooks just accidentally riding into the rocks. And then you have Mason Ho and or everybody. Freddie Patachia. Yeah, but you have nobody, yeah. no intermediate like aims right. for rocks or go like loves that rock play. I thought that one was it, a slam dunk. That's a good one. It's hard to argue against it. There was like, there's, there's no never intermediate. never been an intermediate who ran into the rocks. Who ran into the rocks. Like you're either a full on right. kook or you are like. Mason, just that's getting pretty it good. on a rock. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Kook and Kern. All right. The one that somebody submitted to me this week that would be interesting to hear your opinion on was Hypto Cryptos. Mm. Right, riding a Hypto Crypto. Oh, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> That's a great one. You got but, Craig Anderson, or you got guys who it's their first time riding a short board. Who saw there, I've seen so many first timers, or not so it's, much anymore, but it used to. It's actually a signifier. If you're in the parking lot, you see somebody walking down to the beach, walking down to the water with a hypto. You almost can guarantee they're not going to be battling you for waves. Thousand percent, unless it's Craig Anderson. Right. Like if you see Craig but, on it, then you're like, okay. I speak. don't know if this one qualifies for Kook and Curran because the, there has to be a bit of a, a qualifier here. I think for Kook and Curran, there has to be a degree of parity. So like there has to almost be like, th there's enough kooks and enough Currans that it's like a thing. There's uh, only Craig Anderson, and mm -hmm. then there's 10,000 kooks that ride hypto -crypt That's cryptos. really true. You know what I'm saying? There's like no it. parody there. I like it. Uh, the parody the parody argument is great. There can't okay. just be one, there can't can't be just one, be one pro who does Because that's something. an anomaly, yeah. right? But Tom Kern you is the only- can't identify a trend. Yeah, I know, but Tom Kern's the only one who, you know, wears a, he, he's the only one that does certain things that we've had as cooking. Fair right? point. But Tom Curran is also. So if it was Tom Curran, right? Yeah, the uh, that's what I was thinking of. The socks over his ears. Yeah. You guys have already done Shirley Cook and Curran. I heard you do a list recently, but I didn't hear it. you. You did roller skates, right? No. Wait, what? It's never come up. Does, does okay, Tom here's a new Cook and Curran right here. Yes. Freaking roller skates. Riding dude. roller skates. Actual roller skates. Now, not in the past. Riding like, roller skates in 2024. In public. Right. In public places, in does, front of everybody. Does Tom Curran roller skate? Tom Curran roller skates. That Tom is Scur awesome. He was roller skating at the boardroom show. Exactly. A years ago. <laughs> at the boardroom show. <laughs> what kind of roller skates does he have? Like old school, four wheels. Like not roller blades. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Because roller skating, you know, has a big like up or like a couple years. I guess it was a COVID trend kind of. Oh, like dude, it, These it, are like the kind that you had when you were 12 years so old. So they're not like the new, I mean, the new kind look like that too. It's just like they're polished up and what, These are what roller not. skates what um oh, roller skates. but the question is are there intermediate roller skaters oh i don't i don't okay. really see many roller skaters oh here oh here we go though yes I hear what you're saying. I'm, I'm gonna say because people go are forced to three or four times in their adult life have to go to the roller skating rink for a kid's party or something or whatnot and there's always the surprise person who gets up there and they did it a bunch as a kid right so they're pretty good they're not like pro but they can do backwards they can do that they can yeah like that kind of crossover leg thing you know I'm yeah not, might I'm, not not, qualify. I'm not committing you're yet. right you're right I, I got too excited you're right though like it is a very current thing to do is ride roller skates and kooks do ride roller skates but it doesn't quite fit there's no you're right skates. you're right i like it we could edit this part out no <laughs> no i it's appreciate important. that you're passionate about it and that you like it it's also important too because this is how like Kook and Curran gets boiled down to its essence by having ones that aren't Kook and Curran also yeah, that true. you really have to debate over. Yeah, true. That's good. Completely. Uh, the whole concept of Kook, Kook and Curran, the way that I conceived of it was uh, Adam Carolla on his radio show years ago used to do this thing called rich man, poor man. Mm. There's only, there's things that only rich people do and only poor people do and nobody in between. Give me one example. Um, having an outdoor shower. <laughs> That's so good. Eat, eating exotic animals. <laughs> like you got monkey brains for the tech billionaire yeah. or a squirrel. Right. You know I mean? That's so good. Um, having grass grow between the pavement of your driveway. Right. Yeah. So you have like pavers that are beautifully designed. Yeah. With grass or you or just have cracked like, asphalt. Yeah. Exactly. Um, 
Yeah, there's. there's yeah, I get it. That's oh, great. Incest. <laughs> <laughs> You have the royal family. <laughs> and then, of course, you have the opposite. That is so good. So that's where the, the light bulb. Family. Wait, yeah. does the royal family really practice incest? You didn't know this? No, it's, I didn't know this. It's a proximity infatuation. <laughs> it's all, I mean, this is, this is true it's about... Like, you know what you're around. That's my only people I have access to. Everybody else is commoners. This, like, this, oh my this is like a thing that has plagued royals. I mean, not just the Windsors bless them but the like royals through history have had like weirdo kids for like perpetually because of really yeah it's cousin cousin she's royal he's royal boom weirdo kid curtains in your car <laughs> <laughs> you have like a phantom you know or a maybach or something like that in gray poupon you slide your curtain or the dodge van you yeah know, the right. 1970s dodge van right. going to the grateful dead concert so, uh, so anyways hearing those i had an epiphany and i was just like there is a total analogy in surfing where you only the rich or the poor, yeah. the haves and the have nots. So that's where that came that from. That was genius. Tom Crow. That's one of your better. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. I, if that is the only legacy that goes down for me in surfing, I will gladly accept it. Yeah, that's good. That's good.